How to get started with Axure Prototyping Axure Prototype Tutorial Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use Axure Prototyping and how you can create your own professional prototypes using Axure. So let's get started. First, what you have to do is you will simply go to Axure.com and you will land on this platform right here. Extra RP allows you to create your own professional, realistic, functional prototypes. And this is the only UX tool that allows you to create such prototypes. There are different features and tools that we can use on Axure. It's a very easy to use platform. Let me show you how you can get your own Axure dashboard and how to get started. Simply go to Axure.com and click on a free trial. If you want to buy a pricing plan, then you can go to buy as well. But you can also go ahead and, you know, get a trial for 30 days and try Axure first. You have to download Axure to your PC or laptop. You can download Axure on Mac, Windows, any type of computer. I'm going to go ahead and click on download and it will take few minutes to download and then you will simply install Axure. After the installation and the initial sign up, you will land right here. The signing up process is really easy. You can simply sign up with your Google account or just an email address and set up a reasonable password. So this is our canvas that we get on Axure. And right here, we will be able to create our own prototypes. So let me show you what are the different tools and features we are getting and how to use Axure. So this is our canvas that we get. Let me show you around. We have this option right here, which is a save option, undo and redo. Then we have file option, which allows us to create a new file, new library, and all of the options are here. Then we have edit, view, project, arrange, publish, team, account, and help. Then we get our option right here, which allows us to select our interselected option. Then we have our timeline right here, which allows us to draw a connecting line and widgets to create a timeline view um, that we create for our prototypes. Then of course, we have our text option right here. We have rectangle, we have text field, dynamic panel and pen tool. When you select any of the tool, you can simply go ahead and select any of these tools. We have our zoom option right here, zoom in, zoom out, and this is going to be the zoom right now. I am on 100%. This is our visual fidelity, normal or low. I'm going to go with normal. We have play button right here and share option. This is where I will be able to find my interactions, any new interactions that I will add to my prototype. Then we have notes and style. So in here, we will be able to adjust the style for our page and add dimensions and alignment this is where we work most of the time we have pages option and outline in here you simply select pages you can create more than one page of course but for now i'm gonna go with just one page to delete a page you right click and then you can simply click on delete so this is going to be our page then we have our library right here so in our library, we get all of our different options to add, such as box, then we have image, placeholder, heading, paragraphs, tables, hotspot, text field, classic table, and more. So let's go ahead and start creating a prototype. And I will actually just show you how to add different elements and how you can actually use them. We have component option right here in which we will be able to adjust our components that we have already added. You can also filter your search in libraries by default, flow, icons, and patterns. So I'm going to go to all libraries. Let's go ahead and add a table. When you go to all libraries, you will get a lot of options to add. So let's start with a table. So I'm going to select this one. Once you select, then your table will be added and I'm going to place it right here. Now I can, of course, adjust my data. I will be able to change the text right here or to add a new block as well. We can add scores. Then I can also go ahead and import a CSV 
so that I don't have to go ahead and type in everything. To delete a row, you simply right click and you will find all of the other options such as delete column, delete row, or import image, anything. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this row right here. I'm going to keep it to four. Actually, I'm going to type in the number. There you go. So this is my table that I have added. Now, let me show you how you can simply go ahead and add a box. Let's go with box two. When you select the box, you can simply drag and drop it right here and a box will be added. Now I can adjust the size of the box accordingly. Once you select an element from here, you will find all of these settings to do on the right side of the screen. We have style, we have, you know, color and everything. So if you want to change the color, you can simply select right here and change the color for your box. Let's go with this one. Now I have a box in this color. Let's go ahead and add a primary button. So I will simply drag the button and drop it right here. Now I can adjust the size for my button as well. And of course, we can change the font and the name as well. And of course, we can change the text. So this is my button that I have added. Similarly, I can add any element I want to, such as pop-ups and charts too. You can add lines and graphs again. Just, you know, add any elements that you want to. So I'm going to actually add a bunch of elements so that I can show you uh, what are the different, you know, tools that are available. You can see right here, we have different icons that I can add. And then you will be able to adjust the different elements that you have added. Then you can go to interactions. And in interaction, you add different page interactions such as page click or tab, page double click, page key down, page loaded, window resized, window scrolled up, and window scrolled. So all of the interactions will be found right here. And this is your page. You can simply go ahead and scroll up and down through your page. Then you can also go ahead and adjust the page dimensions such as auto, custom web, custom design, or you can go for different Apple products or Android too. It depends that what kind of dimension you want to go for. Let's say that you're creating a prototype for a large desktop, then you can go with this one. And this is going to be the size of your page. Then of course, we have the pen option right here that allows you to add different lines or text, whatever you want to add to your prototype. Then we have text that will allow you to add different text. And then we have a rectangle. You can simply go ahead and add a rectangle to your prototype. So this is how we simply, you know, add different a bunch of elements and recreate a professional prototype with all of the tools that are available. Actually, it's really easy to use. Once you're done with the project, you can simply go to file and click on save or save as. You can also import it as a RP file or maybe print it. So I'm going to go ahead and click on save as now and save it to my computer. I will be able to check all of my files that I have already created right here in my projects. And you can also go ahead and filter your projects by different styles and fonts. To play a prototype, you can simply click right here and it will give you a preview. This is the preview option right here. And you will be able to get a local preview of your prototype that you have created. So this is the prototype that I created. I know it doesn't look good, but I was just showing you around. Similarly, you can just check your preview in your local, you know, web. And you can, you know, do any changes that you want to right here. And then you can also go ahead and publish your prototype and generate an HTML. So yeah, guys, this brings us to the end of the video. I hope that I was big help to you. And now you know how to use Axure to create prototypes, how to use Axure prototyping. I showed you around the platform and all of the tools that we get. And now you will be able to create your own professional, realistic prototypes using Axure. If I were a big help, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the YouTube channel.